What's going on guys? Kit Bash here, bringing you another video. This time, it is of a figure that I've been working on for a few months. I know that's new for me. I really don't work on stuff more than one day or two. But um, this one's different because I have different plans for it. If you've been on my Instagram at all, then you know what this figure is going to be. If you haven't been on my Instagram and you just have that that eye for seeing shit, then you know who this is going to be. I really don't want to tell you because I want to like unfold it. I want to unpack it and, and let you guys see how it... Fuck it. It's going to be Red Hood shit. So I'm making a custom Red Hood and I really like the use of these parts. I like the body already, but I wanted him to have uh, hyper articulation, as I like to call it. Because I'm going to use soft goods, I don't feel like this figure should have had limited articulation. This gets me into a conversation I have with a lot of people about Mezco and how their bodies are for Mezco figures versus the underbody. So the... The, the body for a Mezco is muscular like a legend, but it has cloth on it. So to me, outside of a six pack pecs and maybe some leg sculpt, the body shouldn't be hindered. What I did with this one was I made it hyper articulated. I cut out certain parts of the body that didn't need to be there. Like example, you can see the, the crotch here. I cut that arch off the crotch because it didn't need to be there and the leg kicks extremely high. Let me see if I can find a figure with the same body. Bodies is Bula. Um, oh, here we go. I'm gonna try to pull quick silver out without knocking everything over. Give me one second. So yeah, here's Quicksilver. Same body mold here. Uh, Quicksilver can't kick that high. He can pretty much kick straight, but if you can see the difference there, his leg. Uh, this this figure's legs way higher, and I think this will benefit uh tremendously with cloth soft goods so i really like what i did with that you can see on the chest too let me bring this leg down you can see on the chest too like i cut out a lot of the pack right there just so he could get like quicksilver stops right there he stops in front of his body so you can see a big difference with this articulation um i didn't have to cut too much on the back because he already went back a lot but the front is really where i wanted to get it like you can see he looks he looks weird but um, it's going to work. I believe so. Uh, yeah. Hyper articulation. I, I like it. I really like it. And then for the use of soft goods too, it's going to be crazy. He can do like everything a Marvel legend can do, but just, a, just, a, just a little bit more Paquito more. Apologize if I'm over here all the time. Cause this is the center. This is like the center of my, my work desk, but the, I'm using an iPhone 10 for a phone, for a camera. So the camera's like not in the middle, like a regular camera would be like, this is the middle of my middle of my uh my view but the camera's like right here so it's like it's the weirdest thing ever but yeah i wanted to do this like i said because i'm making a red hood and red hood's pretty agile he jumps around and i was rambling a lot he jumps around does a lot of kicks and flying stuff so i wanted him to have you know some decent articulation better than the stock body so that was just important to me to do that i just wanted to show you guys this so you had an update on it talk about it a little bit uh like comment subscribe let me know what you think about it. if you have any questions about it like i said hit me up i posted this on instagram a while ago so if you're not following me there go ahead and head over to my instagram i put it right here and uh i'm out